I'm tired of the other women. I'm tired of him using me. For two months, I didn't even hear from you. Where were you? I'm overwhelmed, man. I love you. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. He fooled you about 50 times. We are a financial disaster because of him. Divorce doesn't exist where I'm from. Neither one of you is wrong for having your opinions, but it just makes you wrong for each other. There's been a huge breach of trust, according to you. She was on the fast with the pastor. She sent her pictures with a smoothie of straw in her mouth. Mm. And it's Sasha McMuffin. Can I eat this, pastor? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hold on, why you got to send pictures with it? Here is today's case. This couple of three years have serious relationship issues. A gambling addiction, a secret benefactor, and distrust, just to name a few. Will this couple be honest about their past to get their relationship back on track? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Janelle from Northvale, New Jersey. Welcome to Divorce Court, Janelle. We're so happy to have you with us. Enjoy. Your Honor, this is the case of Ward versus Walker. Thank you, Juan. Miss Amber Ward. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Miss Jasmine Walker. Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. I understand the two of you are in a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. It's been serious. You're having a number of issues you want to see if you can resolve before either taking this relationship to the next level or going your separate ways. Yes. yes. Miss Ward, I'll start with you. Why don't you give me some background on how the two of you met? Yes, yeah, so I'm bringing my girlfriend, Jasmine, here today because I don't trust her. I believe that she's manipulative. Uh, she has a serious gambling problem. Mm -hmm. She's just shady. It can get real bad at times. Mm -hmm. I love her. I love her so much. I really want to be with her, but mm -hmm. it's just so many things that has taken place that I don't know where we go from here. What do you have to say, Miss Walker? Well, Your Honor, I love Amber. But she's a manipulator, she's also a cheater, and she's a liar. Most everything she just said is a lie, as usual. She always making me out to be her Cinderella under her success story, and I'm tired of it. And if we can't get to the bottom of it today, then she could go. Strong statements from the two of you. You've been friends for six years, mm -hmm. say together for three years. Mm -hmm. What's happened that's brought this friendship and this relationship to the point to where the two of you don't trust each other? Well, Your Honor, in the very beginning, we started off as friends. We met in 2015 in the dance industry. We're both professional dancers, so we do parades, hair shows, fashion shows, mm -hmm. that type of stuff back in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So we met around at auditions. We started dancing for the same team. So we just started, we, we, we developed a bond just through dancing. Mm -hmm. So um, something happened on social media where I was like getting bullied by some other girls and mm -hmm. Jasmine really stood up for me and really like went to bat for me mm -hmm. and that situation showed me she had my back. Mm -hmm. And so we honestly got closer after that. Mm -hmm. We started to date in 2018 but in the very beginning I saw red flags. What were the mm -hmm. red flags in the beginning? There was a coin shortage. Her money just wasn't what it, where it needed to be. And so that's... not really a coin shortage. She just <laughs> was low on funds. Coinless. Okay. Coinless. <laughs> yes. She so, was short on her coin. Yes. <laughs> not, not a general coin shortage. Yes, she was short on her coin. <laughs> okay. Coin. So, yes, that was the problem in the beginning. I was taking us out. I was putting the money in it, putting gas in the car, flying us here, flying us there. And it wasn't really being reciprocated. You know, I have a, a catering business on the side, and I also do service industry work, so I had a steady flow of income. She would do, like, choreography gigs where she would create routines, and so she would get that money, but it just wasn't steady. And um, I loaned her money several times, and I believe she gambled it at the casino because the money just would disappear. But when you met her, you said the two of you were dancing, so you knew she was a dancer, choreographer, mm -hmm. and that's what she did for a living, and that's mm -hmm. how she made her money, right? Yes. So that didn't change when the two of you started dating, I'm assuming. Yeah, I ended up having a little situation or whatever, but with Amber, with her business, I was also helping her with her business. Amber is basically, with her business, she just the mouth, and I'm the head, shoulders, knees, toes, with a splash of ankle, and a piece of heart. And I don't like that. I'm tired of that. So you're like helping that. with the business is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm helping bring she I'm does. helping bring in the money in. What happened with the loans? So we were getting loan offers in the mail and I didn't I'm not taking out a loan. I didn't pay it any attention. But somewhere down the line, Jasmine took out a $10,000 loan and they ended up sending us 
letters saying, if you don't pay this back, we can we can garnish your wages, mm -hmm. we can take you to court. Like, they start sending First her back-to-back -back letters. So I helped her get on a payment plan, and some way, somehow, like a year later, the, the loan was completely paid off. But I didn't help her. You haven't been working, like, besides the choreography gigs, so where is the money coming from? The money that I did take out, Amber, her business, we have to have, like, extra plates and, you know, pans and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that costs money. So I put that money into her business. Really? And yeah, that's what I did with the money. And I also paid it back. Yes, Amber be giving me little allowances here and there. So when I noticed Amber red flags, I went on my own and made a separate bank account mm -hmm. and started stacking a little money up and that's why I can pay off the loans. So, Ms. Walker, what happened with the rent? Because you said the money issues started to escalate. Yes. Okay, so one month, our rent was 1500 and one month, Jasmine needed to go and get the money order. I was busy that day. I couldn't get the money order. I knew I wouldn't make the currency exchange bef before they closed. But when I got home, she wasn't there. No money order, no receipt. When she finally came home, I'm like, where is the rent receipt? She's like, I still have the money. I didn't get around to it. I'll take care of it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. We go to sleep. The next day, I'm thinking, Jasmine's gonna go out and take care of her business. On the 7th, I receive a phone call from the landlord. Like, do you know when you're gonna be paying rent? I still haven't got your month's payment. So I went to Jasmine, and I'm like, what? We just started arguing. We didn't get nowhere. And so I ended up taking another $1,500 and paying the landlord because I knew that I would get my money back from her. Did you get the money back? No. Were you evicted at some point? At some point, we were. Because it happened again. Ms. Walker, mm -hmm. what'd you do with the $1,500? So Don't tell honor. me you invested it back in, into honor. the company. Now, I'm gonna tell you what happened with the money. She's leaving out half the story. We had a big argument, first of all, because Amber constantly has new guy friends. Yes. Oh I don't even believe that she's really gay half the time because it's always a guy here, a guy there. And so I you're just not gonna tell me about what you did with this $1,500? Me either, Your Honor. She won't tell me either. I'm gonna tell you what That's happened with I the $1,500. I'm asking about the rent. I didn't run off with her money. I flew off with her money. Yes, I took the 15 Yes, I went to the casino. Why? Because she wanted to play with me. Over she a guy. Keep yes. And that's what it was yes, all about. God. You just want to hurt me guys. by spending my money yeah. over yeah. a guy that you it don't know Gary nothing about. Got a little lamb. Hold on, hold on. What do you say happened? Why were you so upset? That you would spend money for rent for an apartment over your own head. What were Ooh. you so upset she about? She tried to ambush me into a threesome. Well, we have had several conversations about how she wants to have a man join us. And hold so on. if you like the fake one that much, just go find a real one. We can do it together. And that's what you were doing that night. You were, you were on a, on a search. I was going to have a good time. I was about to have a great time, but she shut that down. What do you say happened? Why were you so upset? She tried to ambush me into a threesome. How did she try to ambush you? I'm glad you asked, Your Honor. <laughs> Allow she... me. <sighs> so... Well, maybe you'll answer it this time. Mm -hmm. This exactly. time. So, we at the club or whatever, we chilling, drinking with a couple of friends or whatever. I go to the bathroom, come back. Amber is at the bar talking to a guy. But that always happens. So, I wasn't even paying that no attention. Go home, you know, end the night good. A knock comes at the door. I go and answer the door. Amber is right behind me. When I open the door, guess who at the door? Knock, knock, who's that? The dude from the bar. Mm. And you want to know what Amber did? She grabbed me and started kissing me right there at the front door. So that whole night, I was, I was mad. I was living, I was irritated. I left out with the rent money. And lost it. Did you lose it? You must have lost your man. We have been in a, basically a lesbian relationship, but we have had several conversations about how she wants more than I to have a man w join us. We can do it together. That's where I was coming from. So you're story. saying you're incompatible in that area mm -hmm. as well. And she likes the fakey, so I, I said, if you like the fakey, let's go find the really. And that's what you were doing that <laughs> night. You were, you were I on was a, gonna on have a, a good time. I was about to have a great time, but she shut that down. What happened when the two of you went to New York? So we're in the car with a couple of friends, driving in a truck, you know, vroom, vroom. And my song come on. So I'm in the back. And you know, I'm a dancer. So Not it well. doesn't matter where we at. We gonna dance on men, women, Mary and her little lamb, everybody. So I'm in the back seat, pop, lock, and dropping it. And she just gets mad, just start cussing me out, everything. You da, 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 da. like, I've been gay since the beginning of time, all right? I took her 
from a man. Hmm. So it ain't that the fakey and the really. You really want the really. And you, the two of you had gone to New York on a business trip when all of this so happened? So we went mm-hmm. to New York for DMX funeral. Hmm. That's why we was in New York. Um, I, I went to see DMX when I was 10 years old. He was my very first concert. I was a little girl. So I just got emotional when he passed. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Jasmine, we're going out here and we're going to go to see Pay DMX. Your respects. And we did. We were like part of the whole procession. You would have thought we was his cousin. But Jasmine, we went and met these guys. We <laughs> slid on him. We picked him up. And he had like maybe four or five people with him. It was, they all had, it was a couple guys, a couple girls. Me and Jasmine sitting in the front of our truck. This is our rental. So I'll be like, y'all gotta lap up. Go ahead, hop in the back, make it work. Let's get, let's get to the club. Jasmine jumps out the front seat and goes and get in the back and sends some dude to sit in the front with me. I'm driving, you know, we juking, but I feel some fast juking in the background. So I'm mm. like, what is this behind me? me? So I'm trying to look through the review mirror because I'm, I'm like, I know this is not Jasmine mm-hmm. on this boy's lap going, yep. going to town. And I need to see what was going on. So I came to a complete stop, turned my head, and she just, <laughs> just all that on the As guy. I should. Like, what, what you, we had just met them. Like, what, and it's so embarrassing for me being your girlfriend to take you somewhere you don't even know how you to act. You act like when you go to and a y- club. And then y'all were there for it to pay your respects. Exactly. And all this is going on. Exactly. Oh. Juking in the back seat. She gets a bouquet of roses with a note. And as soon as I tried to grab the note, she took it and ripped it up. I couldn't see nothing. So Why did you tear the note up in the, from the flowers? Because it was for my long-term friend. See what I'm saying? So, so like, when you say something like that, no one speaks in that kind of vernacular. She, that just sounds like you're hiding sneaky. something. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free, 1-877-311-2222, or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. You've alleged a couple of things that happened Mm -hmm. also. You said her birthday was July 7th and you went to Miami. Mm -hmm. What happened? Oh, my God. So we've been to Miami a couple times. It's her favorite, so we always go there. But this specific time, I, w- I flew everybody out once again, paid for the Airbnb. We had a nice little mansion with a pool. It was a good time. She gets gifts, a Gucci swimsuit, a Louis swimsuit with the slides to match, mm-hmm. and, and a bouquet of roses with a note. And as soon as I tried to grab the note, she took it and ripped it up. I couldn't see nothing. So I'm like, what are you hiding? Where did those gifts come from? To this day, I don't know where the gifts came from. Why did you tear the note up in the f- from the flowers? Because it was for my friend. What, what friend? Mm. My long-term friend. See what I'm saying? So, so like, when you say something like that, Miss She really knows. Walker, I, I ask you a question. Really not a joke. She knows No, no one... <laughs> Miss Walker, Miss Walker. Okay. No one speaks in that kind of vernacular when I say, who are they from? My long-term friend. That just sounds like you're hiding Sneaky. something. No. Okay, so... Amber knows when I say long-term friend because I say that about all my friends. All my friends, I've been around for a long time. Everybody that she know, I know. Everybody that I know, she know. What's your long-term friend's name? Mm, good one, Your Honor. Miss Walker, you've been talking this entire case. It's yeah. the quietest I've heard you all day. I don't want to hurt her feelings. Whose feelings? Amber's feelings. Bro, you about to piss me off, like, for real. You about to make me so mad. Like, I swear to God, you about to blow the... Out of me. It's a long Miss really Ward? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You about to blow me. She gonna need some tissue. Why? Because my long-term friend is her best friend. And who is that? Tata. So, your long-term friend, her name is Tata, and this is someone that Miss Ward knows, one of her close my friends? My best friend. Okay. Girl, you is trying me today. You was really trying me. Who's Girl, you? What did I already try? Tata is my like, best friend. My best friend. Mentally up to here with you, so it don't even matter. And you brought a witness today? That's my best friend. So what is going on? Like, so she's your witness today? Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Let me hear about. from your witness and find out what's really going on here. Tata Nisha Smith? Hello, how are you? I'm good. Your name has just recently been brought up by Miss Walker. How do you know Miss Ward and Miss Walker? Um, we all met up, um, in the dance world, so I, I've been knowing these ladies, um, collectively at the, uh, the same amount of time. Um, the relationships are a little different on both ends, um, just because Amber can be very possessive. So, it's like when you got one friend that knows Amber, if she don't come to, um, you know, it's a big issue. Uh, if she's not invited, if you want to go off and go with a friend that she knows, 
that y'all equally know, she doesn't want, you know, y'all to go without her. So well, we have relationships. Amber's relationship is different from Jazz's relationship altogether. Amber is yeah. my best friend, and Jasmine is just somebody that <sighs> I don't want to hurt my best friend's feelings. Mm. But Bro, you don't. It's a little time, late for that. We were kind of um, me and Jasmine. Y'all just say y'all had sex in Miami. So first of all, when it comes back to the Miami thing, Your Honor, speaking to you, um, nothing happened in Miami. Absolutely nothing. But you were sending um, so gifts to Miss Walker in Miami. Yes, Your Honor. Why? What's your relationship um, with Miss Walker? Unfortunately, fortunately, me and Jasmine had a more of a sexual relationship outside of the friendship with me and Amber and Jasmine. As okay, friend. so you're not her best friend. Oh, you're right. the person who is hooking up with Miss Ward's girlfriend. Okay. That is who you are. I mm -hmm. was the girlfriend first, Your Honor. Why are y'all doing this? What is it's the what is so the point? Sneaky. What is the reason? What is the rationale? Because they be drunk. I don't yeah. understand. My whole thing is, y'all, I know I am like really mentally up to here with Amber. They be drunk. Like yeah. she's a manipulator. She wants to seem like she's the victim all the time. All I'm the, the time. victim here because y'all just did some sneaky snake stuff behind my back. How much sneaky but stuff did you do? What did you catch me doing? I don't have to catch you. How much stuff I know that you did. See, that's the problem. Miss Smith. She going off of feelings. Well, now I understand why you appeared via Skype today instead of coming to court in person. You are excused, Miss Smith. Thank you. Have a great day. So y'all just Walker? talked about that, and y'all y'all already knew that. What do you have to say? Me. That like what I've been saying. Like I'm up to here with Amber, and yeah, I did do that with Tata or whatever. But it's so much stuff that Amber has done to me. So when I but ask was... you a question. I like an answer instead of you. you you're trying to give me the reason, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about the facts because there are so many different ways you can handle a situation like this if you're not happy in a relationship besides becoming involved with Somebody your girlfriend's like, yeah. former really good friend. So many different ways you can handle it, but you pick the worst way. So I don't care about the why. I really don't. It's very disappointing. The two of you have been friends. You were friends before you mm -hmm. were ever mm -hmm. in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Friends. All three of us was friends. So what That's happened to the I friendship? To fix it, but... So so you're upset with her about the relationship, but what happened to the friendship? It all goes hand in hand, whether you're in a relationship, friendship, any type of ship with her, a damn boat. Amber will sit up here, like Tata said, she's very aggressive. So you thought hooking up with her best friend would do what exactly? Minim de escalate yeah, like the situation? Yeah, it's just to hurt me. Yeah, it was just to hurt her. Mm. So, Miss Walker, congratulations. That's what you did. Are you, do you feel better? Mm hmm. And therein lies the truth. So you, you came to divorce court today because you were having all of these issues in your relationship. Yes. And it turns out you were having even more than you knew. They think that you're gonna act out and go back to Chicago, burn some stuff up, mm -hmm. slash some tires, tear some things down, prove them wrong. You know what you do? You take the high road. Mm -hmm. You take the high road. You know what that high road is? You, you simply just move on. Lies, they may deceive you. The truth may hurt, but there's only one that sets you free. So you go back and you be free and you run your business and you find yourself some real friends. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Good luck to you. Thank you. I honestly feel so betrayed, like, words can't even express. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I just, I knew she would tell me, like, maybe I had sex with this person or that person, but for it to be my best friend, like, I would never in my <laughs> 27 years of living believe that Jasmine would do this to me, but she did. I felt bad revealing that to Amber that I was sleeping with her best friend, but I mean, I'm, I'm already mentally done with Amber, like, I was, it was like we, this was already over when I walked through the door. So I'm, I'm done with her. I'm just gonna work on separating everything. Any ties that we still have, the relationship is done. She's over, 